Hi there. So, I'm using Live9, and this one problem I keep running into, my undo function keeps breaking. Like, I'll be editing automation, or MIDI data, or doing audio edits or whatever, and I just want to like keep going back and forth or whatever, and it keeps not working. And I don't know what the deal is, but I figured it out. So, a lot of these new Max for Live plugins that we're using, like the LFOs that I'll show you in a little bit, and they can modulate other devices parameters like a randomized function or some other function that will invoke changes in multiple parameters at once and if that's happening frequently and if those things go into the undo history you're basically flooding your undo history with all this crazy stuff and for you trying to edit stuff it seems like the function just doesn't work but in order for it to work you'd have to like if you're modulating you know eight parameters a second you'd have to hit the undo button like you know like crazy to be able to get it to work. So what we have to do is figure out what devices are sending those excess pieces of information and then stop them from doing that while we're editing stuff. But first I'll show you what the problem is. So this is just like a little melody from some like from some bells or something. So, so you hear that. It's all well and good. So we have this little granular to go device down here which is an awesome new Max for Live plugin. And so it will just weird the crap out of whatever you throw into it. And it has this nifty little randomized thing, you know, that randomizes all these things. But if you look, I'm going to hit randomize and I'm going to hit control Z. You know, it's going to step back through all of that stuff. And so, oops, sorry, previous mapping has got in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this LFO and we're going to map that to the randomize. So it's making a whole bunch of changes, and you can have it go crazy, you know. So you have that set up, and then you're like, oh, I want to go edit this MIDI clip, right? So we go in, and like, I don't like this note there. And, but, oh, I want that back. Control-Z, Control-Z, and nothing, you know. And if you look, take this out of full screen. If you look up here, it says undo playback speed range. And what's that? Playback speed range is down here, right? So if I make this LFO not affect that, right, I can go back in here, add that note back, and then take it, and then my undo function is fixed, right? So, how do you fix this? Um, what I did is I removed the mapping that I had, but that's not ideal, um, because I want that to be there. What if I want, want this to be there and then work on some other part, right? So, uh, and just, just turning this off, will not fix it because all of these things are still being modulated, right? So you can turn the LFO off, you know, which is not bad. And by the way, one of the new handy shortcuts is uh, hitting zero on your numpad turns devices on and off, so that's really handy and you can like select multiple devices, you know, and turn them on and off just like that. So that's a lot easier than going through and fucking finding that little, little yellow circle. Um, anyways, the other thing you can do is you can freeze the track and then it won't give you that random modulation and then your undo function will work so there there's how you un or that's how you fix your undo function from breaking if you find that that's happening in your in your life and that's what the problem is so cheers